YouTube, why do you have so much to say though? You have so much to say. You never know anything. Now you're done? You're done with all the talking? You're done with all the things? You're not going to be cute anymore, ever again. Hey everybody, all right. Uh, mailbag, it's mailbag time, and uh, start the recording just now, I think. Uh, something's kind of in the way here, but maybe he didn't decide to move once we get rolling. Now, uh, today is going to be a short mailbag, but I have to say, oh, she took back. There's nothing wrong with her. Uh, in fact, all we really are taking are four pieces of paper to say there's nothing wrong with her. Uh, because she's got a big trip coming up, and uh, the papers are technically required. Um, we uh, we always get them for tests that are going to travel out of state. Um, but uh, as far as I know, never in the history of Disney Academy has anybody actually been required to present the papers. Uh, nonetheless, uh, we like to make sure that nobody has to worry about it, so we always get that done. And uh, in order to do that, they have to have had a, a vet check within the last, I think, 30 days, which Oshi does not have because she's been in perfect health. Uh, and, you know, she's already done with all of her vetting more than 30 days ago. So we got to take her in just for that. Um, um, and uh, we, uh, the, the, the only time that the book is out of here. So that's the plan. And uh, let me check the camera angles and all that stuff. And uh, I'll probably turn off this uh, fireplace too. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it makes a lot of noise. Plus, um, it's hot in here. It's too hot for me. I did, did that this week. I fixed up our, our electric fireplace. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, I got to switch the sound in here too. I see that. Okay, hang on. We're going to do all that. Give me a sec. We got it. Hang on. We got this. We can do this. Oh, I think somebody already switched it for us. All right. Thank you. Uh, hopefully you can hear a little better now. So uh, as I was saying, um, we're going to have to make this a real quick mailbag um, because we're taking Oshi to the vet for her health check. Uh, again, she's in perfect health, but uh, we just need some papers to say that she's in perfect health <clears throat> so that when she gets picked up by her adopter in about a week now, I think, um, she will, uh, um, she'll be able to fly. Um, that's, that's just part of the deal is having that health paperwork. So, uh, let me double check, make sure everybody can hear me now. Okay, good. It does say sounds great now. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. The admins uh, switched it to the right camera before I could get a chance to do it. Um, good. I don't think there's any other news except that we are going to have to try to, to hurry through mailbag. And you know, I, there's, there's a couple ways you can do it. I do like a speed run. I was thinking about doing a speed run you know, lightning round, any percent complete, uh, and just going through this as fast as possible. But I don't, I don't feel like that shows the proper appreciation to all of the uh, the thought and effort that people put into sending these things for the cats and the kittens, and sometimes for us. So I don't really like to do that as much as I joke about it. Um, you know, I think it could be funny um, if we had somebody that was clever and funny who could do it. Uh, but uh, uh, I just, I'm not that guy. I can't, I can't necessarily do. Uh, anything in a way that's going to be entertaining enough to make up for the uh, the speed of it. So let me just double check the cameras one last time here and then we'll just we'll just jump right into what we got and see how far we get. They look good. This is a good angle, I think, mostly. Fair enough. All right. Good. Okay, so uh, let's not waste any more time though. We've got two letters today uh, and I see one of them. The cats must have stolen the other. There it is. Okay. Okay. Two letters today, which we will start with, and then don't let me forget that uh, I was requested by uh, uh, the admins and folks to open this particular package first. So this one, first off, we have a, uh, a letter here that has cats all over it and says on the back, proud, crazy cat lady and cats. Also that it is from uh, Australia. So let's see. Hi, Custard. All right, buddy. Well, come on over. Happy Meowy birthday. It's got a really cute little orange, light orange kitty on it. And I, he looks like a polydactyl too. He's got big thumbs. He's definitely a poly. Uh, it says kitten cuddles. What a great photo. And 
Uh, inside, oh wow, inside it says, this is so cute, these stickers are great. Dear Chris and Dr. DJ, hello from Australia once again. Happy birthday, Chris. This may arrive after the fact, but rest assured we will celebrate for you. Another year is flying by and what a beautiful array of kittens. We've seen nearly every color imaginable and some sweet moms who have also graduated from Kitten Academy. What a truly happy place to visit. Whether it's a micro, live stream, or close up, I feel privileged to share your home and all the fun and sometimes even mayhem. Not, this is not mayhem. Oh well, that would have been too perfect. The latest batch of floops are a delight, and when they all pile together, uh, when they all pile in together in the cow bed, it makes me laugh. They look like one big blob of gray and white smooshiness. This year, for our adult son's birthday, we donated to our local gauze, the Geelong. I'm probably mispronouncing that. Um, I'm sure it's some strange uh, Australian word. Uh, Geelong Animal Welfare Society instead of a birthday gift. He is a cat lover like us and appreciated the gesture. Oh, oh, did I just poke you in the eye with a piece of paper? I'm so sorry. Come here, come here, hoodwink. Oh, we're going to really make you wink. I didn't get you in the eye quite, did I? Just in the face. Okay, good. Okay, uh, let's see, where was I? Um, they promised to allocate the funds specifically towards kitty cats, so we were thrilled. Halloween is upon us. It's not a huge celebration in Australia, but it is growing in popularity. I've been known to dress up as a witch and answer the door holding our dark chocolate brown cat, Coco. One small child squealed in delight, oh, she's a witch with a real cat. No doubt DJ is eagerly getting ready to unpack those Christmas decorations. Wishing you all the best with love and thanks for the wonderful work you do. Uh, that's Julie, Brian, and Coco, a.k.a. the Chalky Monster in Geelong, Australia. Uh, thank you so much for the sweet card and the sweet thoughts, and you are definitely a proud, crazy cat lady, which I love. Uh, that is wonderful, and I think it's the best thing to do to donate to your local shelter. Um, it, it really is. Uh, uh, we appreciate all the help that we get here taking care of the kittens, of course, of course, but these are not the only kittens that need help. And uh, and we just, we love any help that goes to any kittens anywhere. So uh, thank you for that. Okay. This is a Thanksgiving card. It has four cats dancing with Thanksgiving food. Um, and in, uh, it says the dancing cat. I see there's a theme here. It says cards for the moderately crazy cat lover. Okay. Moderately crazy. Mr. A, Dr. DJ, faculty and students, happy Thanksgiving. When I was a kid, Thanksgiving was one of my favorite holidays because two days off from school. Thinking of this made me wonder, do the kittens get a break from classes over the holidays? But seriously, I hope everyone in KA land and beyond have a lovely turkey day, no matter where they are and what they do. From Rhody Ann. Thank you, Rhody Ann. Uh, the cats and I never get a full day off, uh, but uh, we do try to relax. You know, we, we spread it out. Uh, and it, we, we get plenty of time to relax. So I appreciate that thought, too. All right. Uh, let's make sure we get to the package that I was supposed to open first. Unfortunately, I don't know which one it is now without peeking at things. I think they said it was a drop shipment, though. So let's look at those specifically. I think it maybe is. Uh, let's, well, let's just see here. What is this? This is it. Okay. It says we... Mondine, I guess. Uh, it doesn't look like a drop shipment, but we found it, so that's what counts. Uh, so I was told that the alumni got together and sent us an early Christmas present, and I've got to tell you, I, I really appreciate that. I was trying to think about how to express how wonderful it is that so many of the former adopters, uh, the alumni, um, do stay, not, not just stay in contact with us, but do you know, go out of their way to do nice things for us uh, on, our, on the regular, you know, basis. Um, you know, some of the adopters have volunteered to help us out many times. Uh, I think a Taylor's mom in particular is someone who's just always uh, willing to, to volunteer because she's pretty local. So she's got some extra ability in that, in that particular way. Um, and uh, the folks that have signed us up for things like the, uh, the Dr. Pussum's Cat of the Month Club or... Uh, we get a, a snack box that's like an around the world tour of snacks that's still coming monthly and ru ruining my diet on the regular basis. And that's also from the alumni and I, it's wonderful. Um, and uh, of course, my favorite thing is the, the last thing I mentioned. Are you standing right in front of the camera, buddy? Do you have to be right there, though? It doesn't matter. There's nothing to see. Um, I, I think of that picture frame, the electric picture frame that's in the kitchen that's just always showing me pictures of the alumni kittens. 
and how they're doing. And it's wonderful. I don't know. I still don't know exactly who maintains that um, all the time, but uh, it, it does. It's always got new pictures on it. And I'm always looking at it when I'm in the kitchen. It's right you know, above the microwave and my uh, line of sight all the time. It's the, be it's the best thing. And it's, it's uh, three years old now, something like that. And I never get tired of it. It is wonderful. So, uh, so that said, I think this is supposed to be something that's an early Christmas present from them. And I, I should make be clear: you guys don't have to do this. You've done enough. That picture frame is good for a decade at least. Um, and that's all you, you know. It's, you know, that's anyway. You get the idea. Uh, this is all way way extra. This is such a nicely wrapped package uh, with a nice little tag on it. And uh, wow, that is beautiful, beautiful paper. It's got birds on it, little flowers that are sort of paisley, bit paisley-ish. Uh, hello, Mr. ADJ. This is part one of the Christmas gift from KA Alumni. We appreciate you much. Hope you enjoy unboxing a cat every day in December. Uh, more to come closer to Christmas. Love the KA Alumni. Well, I don't know. Does that mean there's like a, a cat advent calendar or is that just... Uh, hopeful that we have a lot of mom cats with a lot of kittens coming every day. Either way, I could see that working out and being something fun. Let's see here. We do have a cat right here to unbox already. Oh, he unboxed himself. What do you know? Oh, this is so cute. Look at this. It is a little cat-sized lunchbox with ears and a little cat face on it. Golden ears. Very nice. And a tag. Oh my goodness, it does say it is a wooden cat advent calendar. It contains 24 doors with wooden pieces to build a perfect kitty Christmas. So I guess some days are kitties, some days look like there'll be a little cat house and a Christmas tree and some packages. That is the cutest thing. Oh my goodness. Well, let's see what it looks like on the inside so we can at least look at that. I think Advent actually starts tomorrow, if I'm not very much mistaken. So uh, tomorrow, I guess, would be the first door that we would get to open. Uh, I'm trying to open this without using the knife. But, oh, there we go. I got it. Okay. It's a little plastic seal on it. Okay, let's take a look here. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh, some of them have names, uh, and you can tell who's going to be in it already because number one says Max, and then we've got uh, two who says Smokey, three is Tallulah, four is Missy, five is Tiger. Now, six is unlabeled, so it's probably a Christmas tree or something. And then there's, uh, this is so well constructed. Uh, there's little ribbons here to help you pull out the boxes and see the next uh, layer. Oscar, Bear, Theodore, Snowball, Precious. Theodore is a great name for a cat. Not Teddy. Theodore. Um, look at that. There's more. It just goes all the way down. Marley Socks, Tobias, Clarence, Minnie. And then uh, another giant thing that's not a cat. And then on the last days, we have whoop, Buddy, Suki, Rocky, Molly, and Peanut. These are so, so adorable. Let's see if I can put this back and keep the uh, little uh, ribbons on the right end of things. So well constructed and beautiful. And I love the colors, these little pastels. It's just, it's beautiful on every level. And I am so excited about this advent calendar. And I guess if, if uh, anybody else wanted to get one for themselves, uh, it is the brand looks like it is Mary Mary, M-E-R-I, M-E-R-I, according to this anyway. Very cool, out of the UK. Oh, there's the label that has the brand name on it. How about that? Uh, that is, thank you to the alumni. I really will enjoy this quite a bit. I think DJ will enjoy this quite a bit, actually. Uh, yeah, I don't, I, I think DJ's first introduction to the advent calendar wasn't too long ago, really, and uh, certainly never one like this. So I think she'll get a big kick out of that. How wonderful and beautiful. It's all this it's wonderfully packaged down to the wrapping paper. Fantastic. So thank you for that. I felt a little fuzz here. Let's make sure I'm not getting told something's gone wrong. Uh, oh, I see. Uh, start opening it on the 1st of December. Yeah, I guess that is the case. Uh, for some reason, I thought it was the like four Sundays ahead, but I don't even know where I heard that. Did I hear somebody talking about it on chat? Maybe that would make too much sense. Uh, but uh, yeah, it does. It goes to 24. So I can see if I just start on the 1st of December, that would make the most sense here. 
All too smart. Well, thank you again, alumni. It's so nice of you to uh, to think of us in that way. And uh, you know, I obviously I think of you guys every single day and uh, have that that visual reminder in the kitchen, uh, which is it's fantastic. It really. I have to admit that these days, uh, especially these days, I don't I don't necessarily know who every cat is. I just saw Monkey a minute ago when I was in there. I recognize that. Uh, look at them climbing up the wall. Can you guys see that? They're going for that tail. I think. Let's see if I can just grab a quick picture because I can't I can't do the micro filming right now. I still haven't fixed that that the way it's coded. So if I start it now, it'll stop the uh, the recording. But I can still take some good little pictures of them with this new camera phone. They are right up there, and I can zoom in the ceiling camera. I can do that much. Let's see where is it. Wow, good timing for these guys to be climbing the wall right in the middle of the mailbag. There we go. Oh wow, they're really going for it. Look at that. Who is that all the way at the top? Is that uh, Flim Flam, judging from the, the dot in the middle of her shoulders? Wow, that's a good job, Flimmy. Now where are you going to go? And uh, right behind her is who? Uh, that looks like the boy, the boy, uh, Hogwash, who just went into the pod. So cute. Wow, that is uh, super impressive. I hope that's all on the stream. Yes, according to this, it is. Okay, cool. Well, that's pretty awesome, too. How fun. Uh, keep one eye on the time. Wow, we're already halfway through. I can't believe it. I'm so sorry to people who sent things that I'm not going to be able to open today. Um, there's some really nice stuff here, too. Uh, obviously, that's come a long way uh, at great expense, and I feel really bad not getting to it all today. Um, but, you know, we do have to take care of the cats first, and in this case, that means going to the vet today. Uh, the reason I scheduled it for today is I wanted to make sure if the vet did find something that was unexpectedly wrong with Ocean, we've got a whole week to try to correct it so that we don't have to change her adoption schedule, um, which would be a real problem, uh, you know, considering the travel involved. So hopefully that is uh, not the case, though. I just that's why we needed it to be today. It's sort of as early as possible, you know, and uh, today was uh, today was sort of the day that we could do that. So. Okay, uh, look at this. This is a, a whole package from uh, uh, somewhere in Scandinavian. Um, I'm looking for something that would tell me uh, unambiguously, and I think I've covered it all up. It says Norge. That's got to be Norway, right? I think so. Uh, we'll go with that. I'm going to go with that, okay? So uh, these we've got these wonderful hand-knit uh, fish and things. Oh, and look, here's one for Oshi, although it does say Oshi or... Uh, it does say Oshi, or I think it means whoever. Uh, and then we got, I think, oh, for the faculty too. Look, there's a little yellow one for Logan. It looks just like him. And this blue one for Custard. And here's a, a multicolored one for Eddie. Well, there's a card in here I should get to. Look, Maggie, Cahoots, Mayhem. So there's ones for the kittens too. That's so sweet. Bam Bamboozle, Flim Flam, Ari, Ari, Ari. Hey, Ari. What are you looking at over there? Hey, this is for you. You want to try it out right now? You don't have to wait until Christmas, buddy. I don't mind. You think it's, it's almost the same color as him, too. That's amazing. Go get it. Oh, oh no, that didn't work. And I'm not going to get up and get it. All right, let's read the note. Maybe it'll say something like, please don't give these to the kittens. Oh, whoa, I did not expect that to start playing music. All right, let's try that again. <laughs> Our expectations set. What do you think? Oh, uh, did you come over here to, to say something, Oshi? You want to listen to it? She's very interested in this. What is it, Oshi? Oh, it says, uh, Merry Christmas, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Thank you for all you do. Purrs and hugs, Norway cat fan. And as far as cards that play music go, this one is uh, especially nice in that it's uh, very... Um, High quality sound there. Like you can hear it, you can understand it. It's not all staticky or, or poorly recorded. It seems like it's just going to keep going through the whole song. So that's a that's a very nice as far as musical cards go. Uh, then we've also got a postcard here with two little kitties in a basket, and it says, "Merry Christmas and Happy New Year." In the box are fish for the Kahooligans, Oshi, and faculty. If Oshi left, please give to new moms. That's what it says, or new moms. Uh, fush, crocade, I like fush with a U, like on chat, uh, crocheted with inspiration and help from Dr. Brew, 
Thanks. Oh, okay. Uh, personalities in Norway cat, man. That's so sweet. Yes, Dr. Brew has definitely jumped into this knitting thing. Uh, and she makes these owls. I think you've seen at least one around here from uh, KACON that are really cool. I like the owls quite a bit. And these fish are great, too. All the kittens are going to check out Ari's fish. Ari's just going to pretend like he doesn't see it. Oshi, you like that card so much you're going to come hang out with me today, huh? She is such a sweetheart. I have to tell you guys something that I just learned today. I know this is the kind of thing that we don't usually, uh, you know, share. Uh, you know, some of these cats, when they come to us, the shelter gives us transfer papers, a lot like the travel papers that she has to have to go to her adopter. And uh, I had to pull those up this morning before mailbag to make sure that she had her rabies shot because if she hadn't, if I didn't have proof, uh, that she had her rabies shot before she came here, then we'd have to get her the rabies shot today before she goes. That's that's one of the things that's pretty much required. <clears throat> and uh, these days, they, they mostly do get the rabies shot before they come to us, but I have to be able to prove it. So I found her intake papers, which I've never looked at. Uh, I, honestly, I don't think I looked at them uh, at all. And I discovered something that I did not expect, uh, not by a long shot. And I'll tell you what it is, even though... Uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't, but I'm going to anyway, uh, because I think it's too funny. I think it's funny considering what we know about this little sweetheart now and the way she's become such a friend to these kittens and the faculty, and she never starts a fight. Um, uh, so uh, the thing that I discovered is that on her paperwork, it says that she is in bite quarantine and that uh, she has a history of biting. I assume probably just whoever, you know, is uh, was at the shelter. She probably just took a chomp at somebody because she was upset. Uh, that's what I assume anyway. So it says that. And then it also says that because of that, they named her Nibbles, uh, which is that's all silly. It's just ridiculous. She is such a crazy, playful, wonderful, big, chubby now snuggler. I, I can't even picture it. But I think it goes to show that even even a cat with a wonderful personality like this, um, you know, they can be pretty stressed out in those circumstances, which is, I think, why we do what we do. So anyway, that's uh, I just thought that was funny that that not only was she in bite quarantine, but then they named her Nibbles. <laughs> You're not a Nibbles, though. Although I will tell you, she has uh, started like she likes to attack your toes when you get out of bed. Uh, and she did that to DJ. I, I don't think that's what they meant, though. I can't possibly be. That's just a that's just a thing that kittens do. And she's a big kitten. Uh, I tried to catch it. I only got a tiny bit of it in the micro uh, stream last night. But uh, one of her favorite things to do is to get under the rugs in the bedroom, and she'll she'll wrestle with the rug itself. She'll bite the rug and and wrestle and roll around in it. Uh, but last night she had the kittens involved with her too, and they were on the rug and they were playing with her, and she would pop out and look at them and then duck back under and just the silliest, most playful thing. She really is just, she's turned into just a big kitten herself and is wonderful. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I haven't been talking much this week, so now uh, I'm getting everything flowing by doing this. Anyway, I think that's, uh, it's just silly and it's funny and she's uh, going to have a great life. Uh, and the only things uh, that I've, I've said so far about her, which I'll repeat, are that uh, we know she is traveling uh, quite a distance to be adopted and also that she will have a another kitty, I think a sister who is a kitten to play with. Um, and I, I know it's probably going to take them a little while to be friends. It took her a while to come around on these kittens. It took her a while to come around on the faculty. Um, but with repeated introduction uh, over time, I, I, I think that she'll really enjoy having a playmate. She really does try to play with everybody. Uh, she's Ari is uh, of, of the faculty, her uh, her victim, I would say. He's not completely into it, but you can tell when she's playing and that she runs up on him and tries to engage him in play. And he usually just kind of is like, what are you doing? And runs off. Um, but uh, I can see if they had just a little more time, they probably would be real good friends. She tries so hard. Yes, you do. Tiny nibbles ocean. Okay. Uh, well, let's see if we can do at least one more package in the next seven minutes. Uh, this is so wonderful. Uh, it's Norway cat fan, right? It is uh, Norway cat fan. Yes, that's good on Discord. Uh, I am well familiar with you. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't getting the wrong uh, Norway person. So uh, Norway cat fan, thank you so much. I'm going to put these in this box for the moment uh, because it's easier than the big flat box that you sent along with these things. And we'll do one, just one more package. And I wish I could open this big package that I can tell so much love is in this box. It's covered in these cute little pictures of kitties. 
surprisingly not. I don't think a B and B sisters box, at least not from uh, the return address. But it is super cute, and uh, I, I'm excited. I'm really excited to see what's in it. And it's just going to have to wait. I don't think we're going to do it tomorrow, um, but but we might. Let me let me see how we feel about uh, how much time we've got. Um, I'll I'll get back to you guys on that. Meanwhile, let's do let's open something. that's probably going to be easy. Maybe we can even get through a couple of these drop shipments. Uh, let's see here. Oh, this one has a note right in it for all the picking up and cleaning up for all the hard work in providing for the Academy and for the love, especially the love you give. That is such a sweet thought. And that's from Mishi60, who is uh, Michelle, Mishi60 Mishi uh, on Discord. And it says, Albert's chocolate ice cubes? That, I don't understand how those words go together. Let's find out. Let's find out how those words go together. Clink clunking around in there. Ooh. Oh, I think I recognize these. They're like mints, right? Like big chocolate mints. They've got a horseshoe on them for some reason. And it says Ice Cubes, Alberts, and it also says Moritz. Uh, they look very familiar, although I can't say if I've ever had one. But now I'm going to have plenty. Oh, my goodness. Look at all those. They look delicious. I want to try one right now. I'm just going to set one out so that as soon as I'm done talking, I can put it right in my mouth. Because that sounds really good. My mouth is watering over here. Uh, I'm imagining it's sort of like a, like those Frango mints. Have you ever had those? They, they were a Marshall Fields uh, brand of, of chocolate mints that they, they used to. I don't know if they still do, maybe. But they used to try to get you to sign up for a Marshall Fields credit card. And they would be like, if you sign up for the credit card, we'll give you a free box of Frango mints. Which is just the whole thing is ridiculous on every level, but they were good mints. They just were mint, um, chocolate mints, I should say. They were chocolate, and they would just melt in your mouth, and they were just about that size and shape. I imagine something called an ice cube that's a chocolate ice cube is probably mint. That's why it has the ice. We're going to find out, though. Uh, we will. That sounds so good. Okay. Um, we are going to do one more, this little flat thing over here. Oh, oh, but I see that this probably goes with the package that... Custard is sitting on because it says Eddie. It's addressed to Eddie, DJ, and Mr. A, and so is the box that Custard is sitting on. Uh, that's fine. I'm not going to let that stop me from opening this one. Okay. Oh, this is so sweet. It is uh, one of those cat teaser, uh, cat dancer, the rainbow charmer. These are a great toy. We keep a couple of these around. And we get them out once in a while. They're actually uh, one of uh, Ari's favorite things. Ari, Ari, can you see this, buddy? Are you looking this way? Because Ari, uh, I don't know if you knew this about him, his favorite toys when he was little, when he was a kitten, he used to love to wrestle with the laundry, uh, the towels, the sheets, any laundry. And then after a while, he started to sort of refine his tastes and he would want to wrestle with uh, like my bathrobe. Uh, tie like the tie for the bathrobe it's just a big piece of cloth like this so I think he's still got a fondness for things that are like that like not just strings but like big fat uh, you know cloth uh, strings and things I probably if I got a towel out and started waving it around for him he'd probably want to wrestle that too so you can see he gets right into this um, <clears throat> I do think that there's is there a note oh well there's something here the note says Nothing, uh, except that it's for Eddie and uh, me and uh, DJ. So of the three of us, I'm guessing Eddie is the one who's going to enjoy it the most. <laughs> uh, so we'll see. We'll put it to good use one way or the other. You can see how much. Uh, oh, maybe you can't see it because he's next to the camera. You guys can't see Ari playing with it at all. I forgot we zoomed in on the wall. Oh, there's still someone in the pod, though. Wow, he's in there digging under the, the blanket that we put in there and everything. Well, let me just show you so you know I'm not lying. Oh, now we got custard all over it, though. I didn't expect that. Oh, and you know, you can't see because my fat head's in the way. Wow, I could block two cameras at once without even trying. Oh, he's coming out of there. Okay, well, that's some timing. And now custard won't let go. All right, well, trust me, Ari just played with it. He was jumping. He was playing. There we go. He loves it. They both love it. And uh, Eddie's probably upstairs. I'll tell you, Eddie's new thing, hi, Custy. Eddie's new thing has been uh, hanging out with DJ all day long upstairs in the bedroom. He just he loves hanging out up there and getting pets and snuggles. He loves it so much, <clears throat> he'll put up with kittens and things as long as they don't bother him too much, uh, just so that he can hang out up there. It's, uh, it's really sweet. 
having a little extra time with that boy. And I bet he'll love this too. We should try it on him. Okay, Custer, you should really give it back though. We'll, we'll get out another one. I'm out of time. I'm all out of time here, buddy. Uh, so I see this other box is addressed the same way. And then we have two. We've got one from a Neko Chan. Uh, we've got three hand addressed packages. Uh, one from Neko Chan, one from Hell's Dells. Oh my goodness. And then this one from a mystery person who uh, didn't put a nickname on and I've covered up their real name. So uh, I don't, I, I really truly am sorry that we don't have time to get to those today. I just, I really want to do them the, the proper, uh, I want to, you know, show, show the appreciation that I'm sure that they are all worthy of. Um, so uh, right now, you know what I'm going to say, we're right now we'll do mailbag. We'll do it tomorrow. Uh, we'll do it an hour, hour. We'll, We'll do it an hour late at 11 o'clock tomorrow. Uh, we'll wrap up by opening these things tomorrow at 11. Um, and I'm just going to say that. And then if I decide I have to, I'll change my mind. I'll let you know that. So the default position then would be we are going to do it. Uh, that way I've got a little bit sort of committed. Speaking of these kids, wow, that's everybody is into this. This is a good toy. <clears throat> we know it's a good toy. It's in, uh, you know, we usually keep one, like I said, in the drawers around here. There's usually one or two of these. Uh, I just, I guess I don't get it out often enough, though. They're all really digging it. It's also playtime, though. We've been playing with them a lot every morning, so that could also explain it. We didn't get a chance to play with them this morning. Anyway, uh, I got to start getting everything ready to take Oshi. I should probably leave in the next 15 minutes or so, uh, so I got to make sure I got everything uh, put together for that. And uh, I, like I said, I anticipate that just being a real quick trip to the vet and back because uh, we just need the vet to look at her and go, yep, that's a healthy cat and uh, send her right back home. So that's all I anticipate. There we go. Uh, for now, I'm going to just leave this right here actually with the rest of the mailbag and we can sort it out tomorrow. That makes things just a little bit simpler. Uh, thank you so much to everybody who sent everything, including the uh, mystery person who sent this for Eddie and faculty. Um, I really appreciate it. And, uh, oh, the mints. I was going to eat that thing before one of the kittens finds it and eats it. I am going to eat it. Also, I'm going to take this upstairs to DJ. I'm going to leave the rest of the mints. No, I'm not. I'm going to bring them in the kitchen. That's what we're going to do. Okay. Everybody off the box now. All right. Well, I know it was a quick one, and uh, it, I'm glad we got to at least do it at all. And uh, we'll we'll pick it up tomorrow at 11. That's the plan. Uh, like I said, I'm going to commit to that. Uh, commit in so far as I know I can always change my mind and let everybody know if I decide I have to uncommit. Uh, he said non-committally. Uh, all right. Let me get this stuff put up. Let me get this thing uh, eaten as well. That's very important. Mmm, chocolate ice cube. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. No. Mm -mm. Not minty. Guys are minty. I got a. I think it's hazelnut. It's got a real hazelnut flavor to it, which is one of my favorites. Mmm. Awesome. That's very good. Yeah, that's delicious. It really does melt in your mouth, though. And the chocolate's very good chocolate, and uh, it's, uh, it does. It's got a very hazelnut flavor to it, which, like I said, always been one of my favorites. That's just awesome. Right, let's move this stuff out of the way. So I'm just going to put it all the way back here in this corner. Except for these chocolate uh, nuggets. Hi, Custer. Okay. All right. All right. How about your mouse, buddy? I mean, uh, fish. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Oh, he's just—he's just completely ignoring me at this point. All right. Uh, thanks again to everybody. I gotta keep it moving this morning so that uh, Ocean gets everything she needs for her adopter. 
So I'm going to put an end to the mailbag recording right here. Uh, but I will see you tomorrow. Oh, see, she just tried to run up and play with Ari just now. I don't know if that was on camera. Yeah, I guess it probably was. He gave her a little bit of a hiss, but he didn't really run away. He just was like, that was, I didn't see that coming. Uh, that's good.